is Pastor Coates once again. I want to welcome you back to another lesson in our Money Talk series. In fact, this is the final lesson in our series, 31 Reasons Why People Have Not Yet Fully Received Their Harvest. And here's the last reason, number 31, most. Now, I could say many, I could say millions, but honestly, most do not instantly obey the voice of the Holy Spirit without negotiation. Now, you see, the Holy Spirit will never argue about you, with you, about anything in your life. He's the gift of the Father to those who will obey Him. He will tug at your heart. He will woo you. He will whisper sweet notions in your ear, but He'll never debate with you and He'll never argue with you. So in whatever or in any situation you start negotiating with God, you have already lost the battle. Second Timothy chapter 2 says this, have nothing to do with foolish, ignorant controversies, but know that they breed quarrels and the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome. Immediately obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Now, nowhere is this more important than on the occasion that the Holy Spirit speaks to your heart about sowing seed. Now think about the foolishness of arguing with the God that has given us everything we need in our life. When He speaks to us about a seed, He's the source of everything, including that seed, and then we negotiate with God about it. Let me share a couple quotes with you that you've probably heard, but these are powerful. God never talks to you about a seed unless He has a harvest in mind. Or here's another statement. God is never ever really trying to get something from you. He's trying to get something to you. So we need to take the emotional element out of our sowing. You've probably noticed that I don't, never have, we don't here at Family First raise money on an emotional level. Occasionally we'll tell you about a need because there is need-based giving, there is deed-based giving, and the highest level of giving is seed-based giving. But what we have to do is take the emotional element out of our sowing. We don't show you pictures of starving children in Africa to raise money for missions. We don't tell you fictitious stories to, to, to manipulate your, your emotions. In fact, there are several reasons why we don't do that. In addition to it just not being right, it does not come out of honor or integrity. We have discovered that those types of responses rarely, if ever, are followed through on. The emotion that uh, brings the response wears off and then the people do not follow through with the commitment. And then a whole other set of problems is open because that person that does not fulfill the vow that they made before God, they cut off the potential of their harvest. So, so don't make vows to God that you never intend to keep. For that reason, I don't do emotional based appeals because it it's not good for the people it's not wise it does not position you for the harvest that God has in your life maybe you've heard this statement and I'll say it again since this is the last lesson in this series I love this people are not my source they are my soil you see if you ever see people other people relatives friends even customers etc if you ever see people as your source then you will be tempted to manipulate them. But what you have to do is listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. People are not your source, but they're your soil. And as you sow into them, then God releases finances in your life. So what you have to do is take the emotion out of it and listen for the instruction and immediately, accurately, and enthusiastically obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Even when a seed uh, information, a seed request, a seed appeal, a seed opportunity comes from another person. You may recognize that person as a financial deliverer, but their voice is an extension of the voice of the Holy Spirit. And so you immediately, accurately, and enthusiastically obey His every instruction. So this is the last one. We're going to go on to another series here soon, but this is reason number 31 why people have not yet fully received their harvest is because most do not immediately obey the instructions of the Holy Spirit without negotiation.